Hi, this is Michael Keller. I'm an application engineer for Yokogawa, and today we're going to go over uh, how to update your device files in uh, FieldMate. So this is assuming you already have uh, FieldMate installed and ready to go. Um, if you need help with uh, installing FieldMate and getting it set up, uh, refer to one of my previous videos. Uh, there will be a link uh, attached. Um, so FieldMate you know, has a database of you know, not only Yokogawa device files to connect to devices, but other manufacturers as well. Um, we keep that pretty up to date, but occasionally um, you might have a device you're trying to connect to that has a, that we don't have the device file for. So there's uh, pretty easy uh, steps to be able to update uh, FieldMate with these new device files. So first thing you want to do is uh, you're going to have to download the device file that you're trying to connect to. So like in this case, we're on um, fdtgroup.org. So FDT is the, uh, they uh, create all the device files called DTMs. So these are uh, advanced device files that uh, FDT frame applications, so FieldMate in this case, use to connect to devices. So they uh, house all the DTMs for various manufacturers. So if we're on this fdtgroup.org, we can go to a product catalog and then click on certified DTMs and we can search uh, you know by manufacturer and um, by device type you know if you have a pressure transmitter or a temperature transmitter and what uh, communication protocol they're using and you can find um, what DTM you need uh, to connect to. Uh, there's also something called DDs which are kind of uh, called their dev device descriptors, and they're a little bit simpler device files, and those can be found um, on various other websites as well. But all DTMs come from this site. So once you find the DTM you're looking for, um, it'll usually refer you um, to the manufacturer of the actual device's site, where they'll have um, they'll have uh, their DTMs listed. In this case. Um, as an example, I'm going to use this uh, competitor's device file. So we're going to, I've already got it downloaded. So this uh, 3144P uh, Rev6 Heart DTM. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got that already downloaded. So normally, you know, with DTMs, they'll have, uh, you know, you download a, a file folder and then it'll have an executable to run an installer. So you have to run that. But yeah, usually they'll have a wizard just to install everything like any kind of software. Um, you'll run through that. Um, it doesn't matter where they're installed, so FieldMate should be able to, to find them, you know, if you want to put them on your desktop or anywhere in your hard drive. FieldMate should be able to find the DTMs and pull them into uh, FieldMate. So click install. This is just one DTM, so it should be pretty quick. If, you know, they, if it was their entire database of DTMs, it might take a little while. Okay, so we'll click finish. So that's been installed. So it's on my computer. So what we're going to do is, so anytime you install any device file, um, you know, you can, it, like I said, you can install it anywhere on your computer. If you want to pull that into FieldMate, you'll go to your uh, start window, go to all programs, uh, Yokogawa FieldMate, tools, and this DTM setup. So it's going to ask you, do you want to update the DTM catalog? It'll take several minutes, and you want to click yes. So this is the act that's physically pulling in the DTMs into uh, the DTM catalog, so pulling them into FieldMate. So it should find that 3144P temperature transmitter and, um, and pull it into the, the DTM list. So again, if you have a lot of um, device files, it might take some time to, to pull them into this list.
and you can even see there the 3144 version 6 um, so it should show up on our list so after that's installed uh, we can see our list of DTMs so let's see um, if we can find our temperature transmitter so you see here 3144 V602 you can see uh, we had some previous revisions of the 3144 transmitter uh, but now that we have uh, the latest one on there um, so it should show up here um, so that's an easy way to check that your uh, DTM was downloaded and now that it's in FieldMate and that should be it um, in terms of updating the DTM catalog so now it's in FieldMate when you connect to the device um, you should see it in the list and you should be able to use it now uh, look for more videos um, on FieldMate coming soon